Now, you may or may not have noticed, but today, the 30th of November, is St Andrew's Day, the time to celebrate Scotland's patron saint. But unlike Burns Night or Hogmanay, this annual event doesn't come with popular traditions and doesn't seem to stir much public interest. It's also not a full nationwide public holiday. Someone who is celebrating is Katie Witt from the St Andrew's Society of Toronto in Canada. Katie, happy St Andrew's Night. How are you going to be celebrating this evening? Uh, happy St Andrew's Day to you as well. Um, tonight, the St Andrew's Society of Toronto are celebrating with our 185th virtual celebration and uh, St Andrew's Day celebration. Um, we're doing a Zoom event um, to celebrate all things Scottish and also our 185th anniversary, which we're celebrating this year. So how would you normally celebrate? Obviously, COVID's impacted and that's the reason for the Zoom. How yeah. would you normally do it? So normally for the past 100 years, the St Andrew Society have had our annual charity ball uh, the last Saturday of November every year. And unfortunately, COVID has really scuppered our plans. We had to cancel it last year and we've cancelled it this year as well. Um, but next year we will hopefully, fingers crossed, be back <laughs> better than ever to is celebrate. It, is it a ball or is yes. it like a big Kaylee? <laughs> Is it a ball or a big Kaylee normally? Uh, yeah, it's a huge ball. Um, a huge ball we have every year, around 500 to 600 people um, come to it. And there's a huge sit-down dinner. And then we have the 48th Highlanders Pipes and Drums. They come and they play lots of Kaylee tunes till one o'clock in the morning and then uh, do a big display at the end. It's a, it's a great night. Lots of uh, good cheer and... Yeah, great fun. Is it only Scots who go or are there, do Canadians and other nationalities attend? Well, as you probably know, a lot of people around the world want to be Scottish, even if they're not. So, no, lots of people come to it. Um, I mean, we have 2 million people in, in Ontario and 4.8 million people in Canada that have Scottish heritage. So, um, I mean, obviously, a lot of people who come to the ball are Scottish uh, or have Scottish parents or grandparents or maybe they just love the sound of the bagpipes or haggis, sweeps and tatties or arm brew even. And they just want to be part of the fun. Yeah. And what does it mean to you as a Scot who, who has emigrated? What does it mean to you? Um, yeah, it means a lot. Um, it's it's great to to gather with people and to celebrate all good things um, that come out of Scotland. I think when I left Scotland 15 years ago, uh, I was quite homesick and it was a great way to get together with people and, you know, celebrate all the wonderful things Scotland has to offer. Um, what's the perception Canadians have of Scotland, do you think, very finely? Well, they obviously think it's a great country, very beautiful. The culture and heritage is wonderful. Um, it's, it's very ingrained in Canadian history because there's so many people who came to Canada uh, from Scotland. So it means a lot. It means a lot for us to get together and to celebrate. And um, yeah. Well, have a great time tonight. And uh, thank you for joining us in Scotland tonight. Thank you. That's great. Thank you so much.